we are newlyweds, married five years. <laughs> so his previous health problems were prior to my meeting him. But um, two years ago, October or so, we noticed he was really failing in short of breath, sleeping a lot. We then, um, through his cardiologist, met Dr. Mudge in Portland. He came up to see us, and he thought he'd be a good candidate for a transplant. And I was realizing that he certainly needed something medically in the sense of how he was going down uh, with the symptoms he was having and the losing the weight and being fatigued all the time. And then once we heard that his problem was car heart failure and that because he was in atrial fibrillation full time, you can't stop heart failure. It, once it starts, it's, it's downhill from there on. We get to the Brigham in February and they found out he had increased pressure of the lungs, so he really wasn't a candidate for a transplant. Well, he had to go through all the testing and heart calves and different procedures they were doing, and that's where they found his lung pressure was too high. They tried medication. They were trying everything to get him ready for a transplant, but that wasn't holding either. And they realized he was slipping quickly from us. So that's when they came up with the mechanical heart. My husband had no other option. We were going to lose him, because I sort of knew what he was facing, and uh, it's not a, a simple road, that's for sure. But he, uh, he was game to go. Well, once they decided what we should be doing, of course, with us talking, and they also had a psychiatrist, and social workers and everybody there to really, you know, help us understand, answer our questions. And um, basically, I left it up to him to answer or to have the surgery, to have the mechanical heart. Yes, he was given a choice of two LVADs, the one that's been in use for over 10 years, 12 years now, uh, was an internal pump that actually did pump blood. And this new one that was in research is the LVAD2 is a mechanical, it's centrifugal force. And the motor or unit is on the outside. The support group, the hospital, the nurses, everyone were so helpful with answering all our questions. Meeting the doctors and, and meeting the surgeon who was going to do this as well. Um, and then seeing the patients walking around who had it done <laughs> right there on that unit, it's, uh, it's very encouraging. I, I can't explain why, I just felt very comfortable. I just felt if there was any possibilities, it was there at the Brigham and Women's yeah. that we had our opportunity. And it's almost like once you make a decision to go for it, it's just you go for it. They were always right there. It was, it was so comforting to know that how knowledgeable they were and how much they could come to us and, and connect with us. Well, and afterwards, post-op, the occupational therapy, the physical therapist, daily were in with him, working with him to get him back on his feet and going. Uh, nutritionists were also in, and these people we met before as well, so it was really a, a one big team. Uh, the other big thing that just was wonderful is they let me stay in this room, and it certainly helped me learn along the way how to care for him, so that when we did go home, we definitely had to be a team to keep things going the way they should. He's torn two bathrooms. Well, I guess he did one before. He's, we're doing another bathroom, taking all the walls out and putting in a surround. Terry's doing it. And, uh, gosh, what well, else? He, he's such a handyman. It's, it's, I can't think of it. Well, I bought a Corvette. Now that he's feeling young again, he had to have a new toy. <laughs> 
I've always believed in the Brigham and Women's, and I felt my husband was in the best hands he could ever have. And I felt very comfortable. I really didn't fear. I just was, I knew it was going to be okay. That my husband now is back on his feet from having the wonderful care that he did receive at Brigham and Women's. Um, it took such a team, uh, and probably 30, 40 people on the team that really did get us back on our feet. The Brigham and Women's is the place to go for having this type of procedure that the, the team and the uh, overall care was uh, fantastic. Very reassuring, very comforting. And we think of them really as family now because we spent so much time with them and they with us, of course. Brigham and Woman did everything possible for my husband to get back on his feet.